I'm Cassandra, or Cass, and this is Tucker and our newly added companion, Oliver. Over a year ago, we moved in to our 2020 Ford Transit, who I call Freedom, and together we've driven 6,000 kilometers across the beautiful country of Canada, from Alberta to Newfoundland and everything in between. As we enjoy the last few weeks of the East Coast, we will soon be making our way back to the central part of the country, and we are so excited to take you along. A few months ago, I went to Cape Breton for the first time. I also traveled way too dang fast and knew I needed to go back. So this is Cape Breton round two, and we Currently hope you we enjoy. We just got out of the gym, and now we are heading to Cape Breton. I will see you there. You probably notice that we are not yet in Cape Breton and I'm wearing a different pair of clothes. It's because we're taking a pit stop to actually make dinner for all of us. And the reason why I'm in a different pair of clothes is because Oliver peed on me on the way to Cape Breton. Stopping to make dinner, have a delicious meal. Is anyone else obsessed with hummus? I am. We feed him one little kibble at a time. Feed Tucker, feed mom. Mm, mm, mm. Tucker already ate, he's outside. Sometimes I treat him. Ready, buddy? And just like that, dinner is served. We are going to enjoy this. I'm going to continue feeding this one. Tucker's gonna hang. And we're gonna get back on the road. <laughs> Let's go to her sleep spot. I'm really excited to see what it looks like in the morning because it's dark out now. Somebody parked behind me, which I don't always like. Oliver, Oliver, come here. You look like you're about to pee on the bed for the third time. <laughs> Anyways, famous for Cass, I set my car alarm off, so oops. Tell me all the things you've done for love. All the things you've done for love Oh, tired to keep from cold Tell you all the things I've done for love All the things I've done for love Darling, let's go it's like a pack of seals And they're so loud just got to our sleep spot in Meat Cove. It's absolutely beautiful. We have friends with us. There and there. Oh, but it feels nice. It's like almost five o'clock. We're gonna have dinner and just relax. And I'm honestly so happy about it. Every little morning I feel myself sinking deep for you. Today Oliver's going on his first hike, which he is not going to be walking probably the majority of the time because he's a very slow walker. So Tucker is letting him use his backpack. Tuck, ready? Oh, he has a toy in here. Are you going to go on your first hike? It's beautiful. Look at the space you have. This is a huge backpack for such a little guy. Time flies when you 
gonna say, I don't know what he's doing up here, but he's moving around a lot. Tucker's just living his best life, and we are doing middle head cove hike right now. Love life, we never grew up, live like you just get one tonight. No, Trail is kind of, but kind of not maintained. But according to all trails, we are going the right way, so we are going to keep going. That's beautiful. You can smell the ocean air. You're literally up, right along the water. We just drove an hour post hike and I'm absolutely starving. We still have a 40 minute drive, but I decided to park at this pull off. Look at this view. So pretty. Dinner is in the making. I will show you when it's done. Dinner is served. A big plate of mushy veggies. <laughs> Yum. We're about 30 minutes from our sleep spot. We'll feed the dogs here and continue on our way. I am so glad I came back. If I didn't come back this time, I think I would have forgot what Cape Breton looked like. But now I came back and I was like totally present and was able to take it in. Darling, let's go walking down your favorite city street. Darling, let's go walking down your favorite city street. 